This week I'd like to talk about motivation. You see, I absolutely love landscape photography. During the week, I spend my entire time daydreaming about being out on the fells with my camera. And then when the weekend arrives, sometimes I have to literally force myself out of the door. Now why is that? I don't think I've ever regretted going out. I don't think I've ever failed to get some sort of reward for my efforts, even if it's just knowing what not to do next time. It can be difficult to stay motivated, particularly in the summer, when in the Lake District at least, landscape photography can be really difficult. So we're in August at the moment, we're well past the summer solstice, but I still have to get up at 3am in the morning to be on location in time for sunrise. And everything is just so green and lush at the moment, it just doesn't make for a particularly good photo. Despite all this, I'm determined to get out at least once a week. So how can I keep myself motivated? Now the first thing that I find helpful is having some form of commitment. And for me that's social media. YouTube has been hugely important in keeping me motivated for the past month or so. You see I'm trying to build a channel and I want to post at least one video a week. Now I also post to my Facebook page, to Twitter, to Instagram and 500px, so I need a constant stream of images. I think something else that really helps is if you have another reason for getting out of the house other than just photography. I've always been a very, very keen walker. Before we moved to the lakes, and long before I ever got interested in photography, my wife and I used to come to the Lake District on walking holidays. In future, hiking is going to be a much more important part of my photography, as I move from shooting around the edges of the lakes to climbing up into the mountains. The adventure and challenge of climbing the fells is going to give me another reason for getting out of the house. Another thing that I like to do, and I think this is my top tip, is I like to keep a few locations that are easy to get to in reserve for the times when my motivation is being truly tested. Now I've got a couple of these locations. The first is Glen Coyne at the northern end of Oldswater, and the second is the beach to the south of Friars Crag on Derwent Water. Now both of these locations are easy to get to and both offer fantastic shots at any time of year. So if I'm lacking the motivation to struggle up a fell, or to spend hours in the car, I just head to one of these locations. Now I might just be an amateur, but in my heart I'm a photographer before anything else. After my marriage, photography is the most important thing in my life. 
If I'm not out on a shoot, I'm usually planning my next one, and that puts me at risk of burnout. Now for me, usually the first sign of burnout is a feeling of dissatisfaction in my work, a sense that nothing that I do is good enough. And that's usually a sign that it's time for me to take a break from photography. As with most things in life, I think prevention is better than the cure. And that's why I think it's important to have interests other than photography. Interests that can help me regularly take a break from photography to avoid burnout. Now this is something that I'm really bad at and something that I need to work on. But I'm thinking of giving Tai Chi a go. Finally, if you're just not feeling it, don't fight it. Forcing yourself out can be counterproductive. Instead, give yourself some time off. Take a break, but remember to make the most of it. Get away from photography completely. Maybe try some Tai Chi, but never ever beat yourself up for not going out. That's the worst thing that you can do. So that's what I do to stay motivated. If you've got any tips, I'd love to hear them, so why not leave a comment below. Mm -hmm.